So I got some smart scales a few months ago to track my weight as I was bulking. And for the weight, it's accurate. It shows this steady increase, but the same scales read that I'm like 26% body fat. So something's not adding up. I wanna find out my body fat percentage, weight and muscle mass with the most accurate way to measure these values. And that's a DEXA scan. We're here at Measure Up Sydney. I'm here with Isabella, the dietitian here at Measure Up, and she's going to go through the results with me. So in terms of total body fat percentage, 12.1 today. Previously it was 12.4. This is comparing you from where you are in comparison to people your own age. It would be on the fifth percentile. Okay, so I'm in the top five percent. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Anywhere between eight to twenty percent would be considered a nice, healthy range for your age group. Okay. Awesome, yeah. thank you so much. All looking very good. So I have a great body fat percentage, but how can you achieve the same? All right, let's look at a few things here. The first is a genetic disposition to a lower body fat percentage. We can go back six years and see I still had that lower body fat percentage. We can go back 12 years and see that as a teenager still didn't really carry any mass. The other two factors you can control. The first one, let's go into the kitchen. My main approach to food here is nothing surprising. You're looking at a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're talking about six years of time, but what generally remains constant is I eat at the start of the day, I eat at the end of the day, I focus on having good amounts of protein throughout the day, and my mind tells me when to back off from eating too many treats. I definitely eat treats and junk food. I, eat, I probably eat it almost every day, but I think through my education with nutrition, I have now a little voice that tells me when to stop. Look in the freezer here. I've got frozen spinach. I've got frozen salmon. I've got a frozen waste fire. When it's hot out, I want a little bit of a cool down. I should get it the same time. In the fridge, I've got some eggs. Got some natural pot set yogurt. Got some Brussels sprouts, which I have to cook soon. And I've got a f oatmeal stout beef on the weekend. Because I want to, because I can. With supplements, the constant is protein powder. The more than likelies are creatine, fish oil, curcumin, and a multivitamin. And the training dependence will be an electrolyte light mix, citrulline malate, and beta alanine. And ending on this final significant factor to controlling body fat percentage is training, which is a no-brainer. If you want to optimize muscle mass for lower body fat, you train. The main advice I can give to anyone for training is to choose physical activities that you enjoy. Do it as often as is practical, and when you hit plateaus, allow the strength conditioning and mobility that will complement those physical activities to slowly creep into your weekly activity schedule. And if getting bigger biceps is something you're passionate about, check out this video where I was kidnapped and forced to spill the beans on my three secrets for bigger biceps.